Welcome to Tech Wizards with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to read the data from a REST API, and uh, that will be in JSON format uh, by using a REST connector and write to the CSV file uh, on the Azure Blob Storage in Azure Data Factory. We will be using a copy activity. So let me take uh, you first of all and show you some sample data I'm going to use. So this is a website I will put in the description as well, or you can type it in the, just in any of the favorite uh, Internet Explorer you like. And uh, then uh, if you go further down there, there are some resources there. So if you see right there, there is a user data. So you can see right there. And uh, then we have uh, some other data such as a uh, post and uh, you can see right there okay so there is tons of data we can use from here so this can be used for your testing and all that now what we are going to do here we are going to go uh, let's uh, yeah we can start with the post and uh, uh, we can uh, go from there so this is our url we will be using okay now what we will do we'll go to the azure data factory and in the azure data factory we are going to create a new pipeline our goal is uh, to get this, uh, this is JSON data as you can see that and uh, what we would like to do, we would like this to read and write to the CSV file. Okay, so we are going to get our favorite uh, activity called the copy activity and uh, copy data activity. We are going to go to the source here and then create new. Now, I can uh, type a uh, rest here and once I do that, uh, this connector will show up right there. So I'm going to click right there and go to the... Uh, then linked service is asking me hey you want to create a link service yes and I'm going to say new and uh, okay so it's already give the name rest service uh, to and it's uh, using uh, auto resolve integration and I'm going to provide the base URL and in authentication um, I can use an anonymous um, in, uh, if you have username password and all that you can use basic but I don't and there are other authentications available so depending upon your uh, a REST API uh, that uh, company you are using from where you need to get the data. So whatever authentication uh, is going to work uh, with them, uh, you are going to uh, ask them and they will provide you that information. In my case, uh, it doesn't really matter. And uh, server certification validation I, uh, depends upon the company. As uh, I said, uh, you can ask them, hey, server certificate validation uh, is uh, enabled or not enabled. So in my case, uh, if I just leave this enabled, it is fine. So I'm going to hit create and now what will happen, I'm going to go to the OK button and here it's all good. We can go to the preview data and take a look. So you see right there our user ID and all that is coming correct. Now what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to go to the sync. There are some values. So we are getting the data. So you can use the get. If you are posting, uh, you know, sometime even REST APIs, they will ask you to use the post to even get the data. So it depends, you know, whatever uh, the method they ask you. Okay. So in our case, the get is just fine. Now, request timeout, uh, you know, just uh, read through this one. So depending upon that, uh, if you take more time, just increase it. The default time is uh, 1 minute, uh, 40 seconds. And then you have request interval that also you can change if you like. So this is for multiple pages in, and if you are getting that, you can change it. Okay, so let's go to sync here and we are gonna create the sync data set is gonna be Azure Blob Storage. And in my case, I'm gonna create to the CSV file. So in the last video, what I did, I did a JSON to JSON. So if REST API was returning us the JSON data and I wrote to the JSON. So now in this case, I'm gonna to go to the del delimited text or CSV file. Okay, so here we will create a new linked service and we will provide our subscription here and then we will provide our storage account. Now we are gonna test our uh, blobs uh, link service for blob storage and create uh, now we will go and browse to the folder or container here is output container I'm going to use here and I'm going to um, leave this everything as it is uh, first row has had a less uh, yeah let's do that and uh, then hit ok now once it's done click on uh, open and here we can provide the file name in my case, I'm going to call this file, uh, uh, let's uh, say what we say, user, user info dot CS, CSV, okay, that is fine. Uh, now here you have uh, tons of other uh, uh, parameters available, um, such as uh, if you want comma delimited or pipe delimited or anything, you know, tab delimited type of data, you can have all those different options here. 
and then you have wrote the limiter, the limiter as well. So it depends what you like. In the default is fine for me. Now there is a skip character, double quotes, and everything. And uh, if you don't want the double quotes around the data, you can always uh, no quotes uh, characters or all that. You know you, you can select. Uh, now it's all good here. Let's go to the pipeline and go to mapping here and. Uh, we are going to click on import schema once you do that it's going to get the schema from your rest api and then it's going to map to some columns it's brought the same column name on the destination side i'm fine with that so i don't have to worry about that and i would like to include all of them if there is some specific type you want to select you can do that otherwise it's going to be just okay it is any type and on the other side we did not even select the type now user ID and uh, this looks good if you want to exclude some column you can do it in case let's say body you don't can, or you don't care about body you can always delete but in my case I'm gonna just live with it and uh, debug so it is reading the data from the rest API and that's the JSON data and then it is uh, uh, writing to the CSV file on our Azure blob storage let's uh, refresh it's pretty quick uh, so it brought all the data here so you can see that this is a request we are making and uh, all that information is there so you have id name sync and all those uh, so mappings are there as well okay so let's click on this it read 100 objects and wrote 100 objects are fine now what we are going to do we are going to go to the our blob storage refresh there so if i'm in the uh, blob storage went to containers in the container output container and this is user info.csv file okay let's click there and now we can go ahead and edit uh, and you can see that uh, it has created a common delimited file uh, for us uh, so user id id title and body and you can see that uh, the values are right there so this is our csv file now if uh, let's say uh, you want to put double quotes around each value as i have shown you already you should be able to see that okay so this looks good and uh, this is how you will read the data from your uh, 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 sorry <laughs> this is how you will read the data uh, from the rest api json and then write the data to the csv file uh, by using copy activity with the rest connector in uh, your data factory so thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video Hello, this is Tech Brothers, and today we will be doing a tutorial. So, um, click the bell and subscribe, and you can always unsubscribe if you want to. Cool. Who are you? I'm Heather. Okay. How old are you? Nine. Nine? You like the technical tutorials I make? Yeah. Why? Because, um, you always know what to do, and then, um, then, like, if... You get a lot of information about it. Wow. And so help then, people, huh? Yeah. And right. then it helps people and to understand it. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>